Hey guys, Game Deals for Life here, and today we're going to be doing something a little different. Today we're going to be going over and starting part one of a multi-part uh, tutorial series for skin making, because I do this a lot and I see in Discord and other places people trying to figure out. I know I've searched the internet trying to find good examples and tutorials, and admittedly this isn't going to be the best of tutorials because I'm not the greatest, but I will try to get everything working for y'all so that you can follow along and all that. As you can see, I have three days remaining on my uh, Substance Painter license, so I gotta get this one out quickly. So yeah, I'm gonna do this and then record another video for a, a different channel. So yes, um, starting off, we're gonna obviously this is, um, we're going to be using Prem Carnage Extinction as the example, but this will work for Jurassic World Evolution and other, hopefully, there's extra steps for Jurassic World Evolution, so I might make a separate video on that, but this is the PCE video. So, what you're going to want to do, th this will be the PCE series, we'll do two series, a Jurassic World Evolution and a Prem Carnage Extinction. Might do an ARC one once I learn how to do ARC, but yes. So what we're going to do is, we're going to have to ignore this. Now, this is typically going to be set at 512, but we're going to have it at 1024 just for this, because this is going to be acro, we're going to have to resize it anyways. So you're going to go to select, and you're, if you're trying to make the skins, you probably already have all these models. So you're, we're going to just go to acro, and we're going to click this, open, obviously. And then, personally, I like to go here and go to the text and grab these two. This is the diffuse and the normal maps. And we're just going to hit OK. Sneak little Pia Raptor skin I'm going to be uploading to the workshop. But, as you can see, we got ourselves an acro. Uh, typically, it's going to be oriented like this. I went into Blender and rotated it because I admittedly do not like that. But what you're going to want to do is, uh, first actually, we need to go Viewport, Windows, Reset UI. There we go. So this is a fresh UI. This is what you should see. We're going to go to Texture Set Settings, select Normal Map, and there's going to be these two files you're going to want to select. This one, the T Base Acro N. Because, boop, there you go. There's your Normal Map. And you're going to want to go here and... It, this is uh, personally the order I do it. I select folder, just going to select set this to soft light real quick, drop that in, we're going to add a fill layer, bring that out, and then from there we're going to go down to textures, T base acro D, and then, oop, got to get that down. And then you're going to just drop that where it says base color, and there is your diffuse set. Now, um, Admittedly, the skin that I'm doing won't be able to be uploaded, but we're just going to add a folder. Not add a folder. Don't know what I'm doing. Just going to do that. We're going to add a fill layer. There we go. And automatically, these will have symmetry on. So if I were to go like this, as you can see, even though I only went down one side, it's on both. Control Z, obviously. Um, so. If we're gonna have to go over keybinds, so if you do Alt and left click, I said right click earlier. Someone on accident. Oops. Alt and left click, you can rotate. Alt right click zooms in. Alt middle mouse moves it, and then with Control you can change the size of your brush with the right mouse button. Rotation with left, and then with you can also do it with that. But we're going to quickly slip over here. We're going to grab my favorite brush for working with this stuff, which is Dirt 2. I'm going to go flow up to 100. Admittedly, this is going to be a just random skin. So personally, I like to work with base color just so I don't have all the reflective glare. Um, but we're just going to grab, say, let's get a... Get a nice little, there we go. Update that. And then for this, we're gonna select our color. Say let's go with a nice little, uh, 
Let's go with a weird color. Let's go with a red. And then I'm just gonna make a skin. It's gonna be very simple, but hopefully people enjoy it. As you can see, we've already got like just just a simple stripe. I like to keep flow up to a hundred though, so I don't have to keep going through. There we go. This is going to be nothing, by the way. This is going to amount to nothing. Just so I can see this properly, we're going to hit this up with some black. Admittedly, probably should have like came up with a skin idea beforehand, but we're just going to... Just going to drag this along. Get a very generic skin. Okay. This part is just going to be painting, so I think what we'll do is I'm going to get the skin design I want to work with, and then we will go and time lapse it so you can see the general process of how a skin is made, as well as I might, okay, like, I might at the end talk about some tips and tricks but I don't really know too many myself but yeah I think that's what we'll do so I'm just gonna mess around with mess around with it a little this is at this point this is where you should have a you should have a pretty general knowledge of what you're gonna be doing here but if you don't blending in is really nice with this uh the bl the smudge tool Get a nice little blend. And that's how I will end up getting fades and stuff. And yeah. Heavily suggest Dirt 2 and Dirt 3. But that is all. We're going to time lapse this. And then from there, I can show you export settings. Bloop, bloop. For now.
Watching seasons change Our roads were lined with adventure Mountains in the way Couldn't keep us from the sea Here we stand, open arms This is home where we are Ever strong in the world that we made I still hear you in the breeze See your shadows in the trees Holding on memories never change Okay, so admittedly this is a very rushed skin. This isn't the greatest. This is just a simple acro skin. So we're going to right click up here and we're just going to name this guy Osprey. Because my general basis for the creature was an Osprey. If, if, this was, if I'm going to flesh this thing out more, I probably would add more striping here and on the legs. But it's uh, it's whatever it is. Alright, so we're going to go to File, Export Textures, and you don't want to have this layer, like, active at all. So, make sure it's not visible. And then, these settings are typically fine, and then we're just going to hit Export. Now, that's going to have to be changed, but for the most part, that is the end of this part of the tutorial. This is all the Substance Painter guide, really. There's tons and tons of incredibly useful tutorials out there for substance and how to use it, how, how to get the most out of it. Get all the tutorials in and all that. Watch those if you need to know more about how to use substance in general. This is just for the people that, you know, already know how to use it and all that, or so on and so forth. But now that you got all that, we're going to go over to GIMP, Photoshop, or whatever the program you use is. Personally, I use GIMP, so I will see you all in that video. Actually, wait, no, I forgot to do some things. So, tips um, for doing stripes and stuff is I typically will, as you saw, create, fill in the entire area and then just go through and cut them out. This is... Very quickly done, though. I think that last recording was only, like, seven or eight minutes. Something like that. I rushed through it, because this isn't meant to be in getting in the game or anything. This is just a tutorial thing. It will be uploaded to the workshop, so if it gets in, yippee, but I doubt it. It's not ready. It's it's, it's not really... shouldn't be getting in. But yeah. Um, stripes, typically, would be do this, go to eraser... And just cut them out. There we go. At least that's how I did. That's how I do stripes. Um, spots. I don't really do spots, so not much I say. <laughs> Sorry, I am dying apparently. That's lovely. But yeah, this is a very messily done thing, but it, it, it's it'll hopefully look better in the SDK. But yeah. So you can see, we got ourselves an acro. Again, if this was like a fully done skin, you'd want to actually go over everything a couple times, make sure everything's neat. Like, this looks weird. It just juts off right there. But again, we're just 
Yeah, we're fixing that. Let's do this. Just gonna actually cut into the leg a little. Hopefully that looks a little better. I don't know. We'll find out. So yeah, obviously export textures. And yeah, on to GIMP. And that's really all there is to that. So yeah. Hopefully this tutorial helped. Hopefully this series will help. Skadoosh.